in a gross out mood today. What is one of the grossest cakes that I could make? I wanna make something that makes you say, Ew. why would she make that? And why do I wanna gross you out? Because I think it's fun. My name is Natalie Sidesurf and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna show you how I made a raw chicken leg cake. My sister-in-law has a bunch of animals. And the first time I went to her house, I took a tour and met them all. I met the goats and the horses, the dogs and the cats, and then I got to the chickens. The chickens get this whole fenced in space to themselves. And I decided to step into that hen house to check it out and say hi to all my new chicken friends. If you know anything about chickens, you might be thinking, Natalie, don't do it. Turn around, this is a bad idea. And you would be right, because I was immediately approached by the rooster. His name was Richard. In my head, roosters, they just like strut around and they squawk, cock-a-doodle-doo. Innocent enough, right? Wrong. Roosters are vicious. They're like little mini evil dinosaurs. But I didn't know that at the time. And I have a little something to show you. I have actual footage from my interaction with the rooster at my sister-in-law's house. Here I am meeting Richard. Oh my god! Oh my god, that hurt! Oh, you hated me! Forget it! Ow! 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 He really did hate me so much. I didn't know that he was gonna attack. The video doesn't even look as bad as it felt. <laughs> he stabbed his scary claws all up into my shins. I had bruises and little holes all over my legs. Let's just say lesson learned. I mean, it wasn't Richard's fault. It was definitely mine. He was just trying to keep me away from his ladies. I accidentally threatened him. I'm gonna do more research before I just gallivant around a farm again. I've actually made a lot of animal cakes. I really enjoy sculpting them and people really seem to like them. So I'm gonna list some of my favorite animal cakes that I've ever made. So a couple years ago, a customer reached out and asked me to make a life-size wild boar cake for her husband's birthday. Now, I didn't realize at the time, but wild boars can get up to like five feet long from snout to bum. That's a big pig. So I decided that four feet was a nice size for her boar cake. It's still very large, but it's also going to fit in her vehicle at this size. <laughs> Sometimes the size of the car determines the size of the cake. And then I got to work. It was one of my largest cakes that I've ever made without the help of other cake sculptors. It was a solo project and it was a beast. And here it is. I think it's pretty cool. Husband Dave and I got a kick out of transporting it. Here it is rolling down a hallway on a cart. <laughs> yes, we definitely got a lot of looks that day. You may not know this about me, but I competed on a Food Network show called Buddy vs. Dough. It's a competition show that follows two teams of some of the best cake artists in the industry. We competed to make the best, most insane show cakes that we possibly could. And one of my favorite cakes that we made on the show was for a Christmas episode. Both teams were asked to make a massive cake that follows the theme Winter Wonderland. When you think of Winter Wonderland, what do you think of? We all thought of a fantasy scene of Arctic animals playing in the ice and snow. With help from my teammate Sonny Robinson, we made two polar bears to be included in the scene. And here they are. They were so cute. Now let's go further back in time to 2017, because that is when I filmed another Food Network show called Texas Cake House. This show showcased husband Dave and I as we made crazy cakes for local customers here in Austin, Texas. And one of my favorite cakes was a cake that we made for the Austin Aquarium. We were asked to make one of their animals in cake, and they had quite a few to choose from. Lots of fish, stingrays, sharks, but I eventually decided on an octopus. And I'm glad I did because this cake is really cool. My favorite part is that I made the eye out of gelatin. It's a pretty cool effect that I still use today. While I'm on the topic of Texas Cake House, I wanna mention another animal cake that we made on the show that I really love. This cake is a humorous cake. It was made for a comedy event called Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Basically, the event was a ping pong competition that also had comedians doing stand-up. So we all thought that a sloth would be really bad at playing ping pong. So we 
designed a cake of a sloth playing ping pong while sitting on the moon. <laughs> this one was very surreal and definitely goofy, but it was a comedy festival after all. And the best part about this cake is husband Dave didn't just bake the cake, he did a little decorating on this one. He was in charge of sculpting the face of the moon. And I'll tell you what, he did an awesome job, especially since that was his first time attempting anything like this. I love that cute little moon face. And we even got the cake sloth to play a little ping pong. <laughs> And there you have it, a raw chicken cake. Hand painting all the colors on this one was so fun. This is the only raw chicken that I will ever eat. Now let's cut the cake. Subscribe if you haven't yet, I make new cake every week, and like this video if you like this video. I'll see you next week for another cake.